Now our character can move. It's time to make him talk. In the Mimic folder, I have several head images. Switching them at a certain frequency creates an illusion of a talking character. That's what we're going to do. Let's create a new file and quickly assemble our character, just as we did before. Now we need to import the head images. Select the files with numbers from 1 to 5. The sixth file we'll keep for later. Now let's group those heads together. But for this case, I'll be using a special switch group instead of the regular one, here. The switching group behaves just like an ordinary group but it only shows one of its child layers at a time. This group has a special parameter called Active Layer Name, which defines the name of the layer to display. Let's change it to make our character close his mouth. Press Enter. Done. If we change this parameter in animation mode, the new waypoints will appear and the layers will be switching. Now let's put head inside of the character group. Choose Cut, select this layer, and Paste. Notice that the new layers are always inserted right above the currently selected one. Now let's import an audio file with the voice for our character. Choose File, Import, and in the Mimic folder select Sound.Wave. Let's listen to the audio track. Hello there, how are you doing? So we've got two phrases. Let's mark the beginning and the end of each phrase with keyframes. Hello there. How are you doing? Hello there. How are you? Hello there. How are you doing? Done. Now we're going to switch head images in this and that intervals. Turn the animation mode on. Go two frames ahead and switch the first layer. Now further a bit more and so on. Right now I'm not going to try to perfectly synchronize the mouth shapes with the voice. Instead we'll place them randomly. That should be enough for now. Let's check out the result. Hello there. How are you doing? Okay, he is talking now. In this example, all our head images are of the same size, so we don't have any problems with that. But suppose we wanted to add an extra head image with different dimensions. Import head extra file. and place it into the switch group. It's not visible for now. Let's switch it on at some point. See? The guy's head jerks aside. That's because the image doesn't coincide with the others.
so we have to adjust it. It's not that easy because I can't see the other heads at the same time. So here we will use an onion skin mode. When onion skin is enabled, we can see an image from the previous keyframe. Now it's become easy to align the image. Just don't forget to switch the animation mode off before you start, or else bad things could happen. Select the head image, and adjust. Done. Hello there, how are you doing? Now everything works as expected.